The drama Kill Me, Love Me is a tear-jerking historical film project produced by Yaoku. The drama is highly appreciated for its attractive content and the expected acting of actor duo Liu Zhu Yi and Wu Jin Yan. The drama Kill Me, Love Me is expected to air in late 2024 and early 2025. Kill Me Love Me is adapted from the novel Chun Hu Yan by author Hai Yan. The drama with the participation of the actors. Liu Zhu Yi as Mirong Jing He. Wu Jin Yan as Mai Lin. Bai Wen Jun as Yi Le Kin. Zhao Zhao Tang as Luo Mai. Baron Chen as Mirong Lei. Huang Ri Ying as Princess Zigu. And some other actors. The drama is about a 15-year-old assassin with number 43. Her name is Mai Lin. She is the pawn that the hidden owner has planned. She was stripped of her martial arts skills, and she was even used as a springboard for his plots. The male lead of the drama is also Mai Lin's hidden owner. He is named Murong Jing He. That year, Prince Murong Jing, he led his army to conquer Qingzhou province. After the prince led his army to Qingzhou Citadel, a huge fire broke out here. There was a rumor in the citadel that Prince Mirong Jing, he hated King Zhou. So after entering the citadel, he ordered a fire to kill everyone in the citadel. At that time, the female lead Mai Lin was still a young woman. She lost all her relatives in the fire at King Zhou. Therefore, she swore that she would personally take revenge on the person who ordered the destruction of the people in King Zhou city. To have the power to take revenge, Mai Lin entered a secret organization and became an assassin. She undergoes eight years of brutal training and receives her first mission, to assassinate Prince Murong Jinghe. Mai Lin did not expect that the person behind this assassination plan was also Murong Jinghe. From the beginning, she was a pawn that the hidden owner had planned. That hidden owner is none other than Murong Jinghe. He then took away her martial arts skills and set her up in a vulnerable position, precisely to use her as a springboard for another plot. Only later did Mai Lin learn that the owner was Mirong Jing. He, Mirong Jing, he is a somewhat crazy person. He takes advantage of Mai Lin, teases her, but also falls in love with her without realizing it. However, he has no idea what true love is. He even used Mai Lin to arouse another girl's jealousy. Mirong Jing, he hurt Mai Lin a lot. One time, just because of a small misunderstanding, Mirong Jing, he was willing to abandon Mai Lin. Fate is ironic. One day Murong Jing He's life depends entirely on the small, despicable girl he once despised. At that time, Murong Jing, he turned Mai Lin into a game for the person he loved, forcing her to become prey for others to hunt. Murong Jing he did not expect that on that day, he would be harmed by enemies to the point that his entire body was paralyzed. Luckily, thanks to Mai Lin's help, he was able to save his life. She then spent a lot of time taking care of him carefully. Until one day, Mai Lin discovered that Murong Jing he was her hidden boss. He is the one who has been ordering and controlling her for many years. She begged him for an antidote so she wouldn't have to suffer the pain of being controlled. She begged for some of his affection to relieve the pain that constantly tormented her body. Yet Murong Jing he cruelly gave her a medicine that caused her to lose her voice. Murong Jing, his callousness did not stop there. He toyed with Mai Lin's heart as a hobby. He forced Mai Lin to witness him being intimate with another girl, forcing Mai Lin to marry one of his subordinates. The male lead, Mirong Jing, he is a man with a soul full of contradictions and distortions. Such a heartless person suddenly turned into a completely different person when he heard the news of Mai Lin's death. He abandoned everything, abandoned the love he worshipped for 10 years. He abandoned the ambition he had nurtured for many days. Mirong Jing, he carried a dead Mai Lin around for 10 days straight. Finally discovered, Mai Lin is still alive. At first, we will feel that Mai Lin is a subdued girl, docile and submissive, without any opinions. But actually, she is always the one in control of her life. She decides her own fate, she finds her own way out. Mai Lin was the one who actively abandoned Mirong Jing. He, she can throw him away, only he can't live without Mai Lin forever. After many ups and downs, Mirong Jing, he finally resolved the problems in her heart. He accepted to give in to his heart. Finally, Mirong Jing, he determined to gain the right to rule the country and ascend to the throne. This is the only way for Mirong Jing he to protect himself. It is also the only way for him to change the rituals that have been passed down for thousands of years. Only then can he have Mai Lin. After all, 
He had to spend his whole life making up for my Lin.